Hey there, everybody. Fet here, and welcome back to Fet Plays RimWorld Beta 18. How's it going, my friend? Orca, formerly known as Camissa. Life seems to be going all right for you. You do need a new brain, but we're going to have someone work on that. Don't even worry about it. You'll get yourself a new brain eventually. And over here, used to be Croyo, now known as Dark Shadow Doc. Because you see, he's got some, he's got a little bit of a, a little bit of mess in the skill, as you can see. Either way, welcome these two to the colony. Orca does not have any of the skills set yet. Let's go ahead and get that changed up for us. Let's see, you can do some wardening. Yeah, do some wardening, some negotiating, talk on our behalf. And then you really like art. So let's do some, let's have you do some art and then we'll do cleaning at a one. That'll be pretty good. We got projects. Yes, we do. We got projects. How about you? Dark Shadow's project is to clean, apparently. Desmus's project is to build some reinforced stockpile crates. Volpe's job is to rest up after getting into a fight with Senpai. It was pretty great. Now they're both resting up. It's pretty great, I guess. Let's um, fix these. These should be connected to the other side. There we go. Perfect. Alrighty then. Look at that, we even have some jade. And it appears a lot of this stuff has gotten hauled out. Why do we have 318 silver sitting outside of our base? Someone fix that. It disturbs me. Other than that, life's going alright. Panda 11 is no longer incapable of walking after a rough rough run in with a cougar which is very unfortunate the only way they can get in is through here so I'm a bit disappointed in myself that I didn't see it happen but it is what it is and that's all that it is dude this place is getting so filled up it's actually nuts I'm thinking I might have to replace these stockpile crates with another freaking industrial storage unit it's starting to look like that's the only way we can hold all of the all of our materials in here. Why is this one getting filled up with freaking synth thread? I mean, it's cool we have a place for synth thread. I guess. Hmm. I could also just look at combining these two rooms and then just putting more stockpile crates in here for our for our what happened what's happening over here who's in a bad mood ginger liam what's wrong man you hungry go eat you're already eating eat your dang sweet bread he's done it <clears throat> sweet bun whatever now he's in a good mood good things are going all right here in century city but i might combine these two rooms again long-term goals we got a lot of projects already cross over here slapping down some red lentils after harvesting some we got plenty of agricultural and terraforming jobs to do got a decent amount of jobs to do well actually the construction here is pretty much done there's some pipes that have to be put in still but other than that the heavy construction is done here got a lot of stuff to put in here we're gonna put in anything that's not great quality will go in the stockpile crates so anything that doesn't fit in here basically and we're gonna get that hashed out don't worry about it we got 165 stacks in here that's a little ridiculous so like this rifle should not be in here it's the kind of thing i'm looking to prevent earth has given birth it's pretty great the party has finished it's pretty great this uh geothermal generator has not been started it's less than great Desmus is having himself a rest. I'm not complaining. Shark Walker having himself a cremation. It's I'm not complaining, I guess. And we got a lot of extra materials down here as well, as you can see. Over here in Century City, we got a couple of these precision turrets up and running. Other corners not quite precisioned up yet, but it'll get there. Don't worry about it. Don't even stress yourself. 
We got defense to the north. We got defense to the east. We got a little bit of defense to the south. Look at this. Look at this. Nearly full coverage. Don't forget, we also have this Plasteel Energy Turret in case they decide to get fancy. If they decide. <clears throat> and we have some defense in here, of course, as well. Which is all well and good and good and well. And good and well and well and good. I'm considering slowing them down with caltrips as well, but I don't know if I want to do that necessarily. Could also go ahead and throw down some security for this thing. Again, not sure I want to do that. Hello, White Cave Kin League. How y'all doing? Welcome to Ragamuffin City. Please do not step on the guinea pigs, I guess. Don't step on anything, but please, especially the guinea pigs, don't do this. Look at all these stones we got that we have no use for. So I'm putting it in order here. This thing is learning how to make grand sculptures. It's going pretty great, I assume. It's only going to take 9,000 work left. Then we'll get a machine learning assembler up in here. We'll see how far away it can drag machines to and fro. And then we'll probably put it over here. And we'll surround it by blocks. And we will... Well, it knows how to make sandstone blocks. So we'll surround it by sandstone blocks. And then we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and have it absorb blocks and pump out well, absorb chunks pump out blocks absorb blocks pump out sculptures I think that's good <laughs> I think that's how it works so what I'm on under the understanding of let's go ahead and make these nutrient paste meals forbidden nobody should be eating them for now not that I think anybody was but just in case you know you want to I want to be a hundred percent sure when it comes to things like this. Bring some steel to a stockpile. Senpai helping us out. I appreciate the support. We are almost at ten thousand steel. We are at thirty thousand bone. Holy jeez. Holy jeez. And we're trying to make them into katanas as fast as we can. It's just not happening fast enough. We're making bone drinking cups like crazy. What else can we do with this bone, though? Ah, well, we can get the library done soon, I would hope. Let's see here. We want another heavy-duty shelf here, and eventually this will get moved. We can put one here. We can move all these books. Someone in this city is a prolific writer, and more power to them. Who am I to say they can't or shouldn't? I guess I could say they shouldn't, but who am I to say they can't? Losing a little bit of power at night. It's not too bad. Not too bad. I ain't no complaints. You see Triple Strike here complaining? No, you don't. Because he's got a somewhat impressive room. It's pretty great. See Volpe over here complaining? No, you don't. Even though an innocent prisoner died, she got some disturbed sleep, but she was also insulted. She's also very much okay with her husband Dismas. So, who can complain? Slightly impressive rec room, huh? Where is that? This is... This is obviously the dining room. It's unbelievably impressive. Where's the rec room you were using? Here? Yeah. It's extremely impressive, though. It's not slightly impressive. What are you even talking about? You got the Titan and the Creator here. How much can you ha- Oh, come on, Senpai. You with your social fights, man. Put down your rusty war knife of victory. Stop fighting with everybody. Panda's got a permanent injury to her left eye. We need to fix that. And by fix that, you, of course, know that I mean we need to get our bionic eye. Which is not that hard. Boom. Boom. Panda will have her bionic eye. It'll be great. Alright. Let's let daylight come a little bit faster here. I was considering maybe putting up some half walls for this area, too. But I, I don't really need to. Why do we have three guinea pigs who are starving? People. Move this sheep wool and these hairs out of here so that we can move the more hay in. Yeah, move more hay in there. There you go. Nanny Goat is giving birth. It's pretty great. And Dismiss and I are back to doing this stuff. Because this is what we do now. 
another nanny goat has given birth. We got goats aplenty over here in Century City. We also, someone has given birth to fertilizer and brown ale. Whoever did that is a champion of the highest order, I assure you. Jacobos, Jacob, Jacobowski, excuse me. Hanging around here. She's doing all right as well. She's 20. She's got some crafting skill, but she's also a slowpoke nibbler neat freak, which are not great traits. And Monty. Monty? I think it's Monty. He's lazy. So I don't I don't really appreciate he and he has like no passions in life. You know, unless you count the trait of being gay a passion, which for some people it is. For some people it's just a fact of their life, but for Monty it seems to be neither, because he doesn't have very many passions at all. Fuzi, first of all, nice armor, nice halberd. She's a knight. She's got some medicine skills. She's got she's a masochist. She's got a chemical fascination, which is pretty pretty terrible. And neurotic. You know what? Let's try to recruit her. She has some she has some stats going for her. She has some equipment going for her as well. It's a party over in Sent Ragamuffin City, thrown by Elsa. It's pretty great. Got a card shark hat that's infused. It's pretty great. This guy's got a big edibles tolerance. Wow, he has a lot of traits. Psychically hypersensitive, misogynist, wimp. I mean, you got problems, dude. Your problems aren't my problem, so I'm not going to tr even try to recruit you or pretend that you're interesting. But we'll try to recruit one of them. We'll try to recruit the knight. What's the, what's the worst that could happen? They say no. That's pretty much it. How you doing, Cory Thesaurus? This is going to go lay down next to the nuclear power plant, as is tradition, I'm sure. Look, we need to stop throwing these parties. I understand we want to throw parties. Dismas, go build this geothermal generator, this advanced one. We need to get that sucker up and running. The party seems to have spilled off into the rec room. Where someday we will put down green and wool carpet. If we ever have the cloth for it. Actually, it takes wool cloth. Which we do have a fair amount of, I think. Still, you know, if you could, like, not party every five minutes, we might be able to get some more stuff done. Just throw that out there, guys. I know we have a good life. But the pandas are working their butts off here. Just to feed our animals. Brexios tamed the wild boar. Named their wild boar 79. d is tamed wild boar 80. It's a baby wild boar. Four days old. Already tame. Dude does not mess around. When it comes to taming our animals. Alright, we got plenty of space for more rock chunks out here. So, plenty of space to move this stuff. For the most part. I think our animals are all assigned appropriately. We have plenty of orders to make sure they're tamed appropriately. Wild Boar 14. Yo, what's wrong, my friend? You lost your spine and you got cataracts in each eye. You're 10 years old. My God. We can remove the eyes. Now, I don't think that solves the problem unless you're talking about removing the cataract but it looks like you're saying remove the eyes themselves and i don't think that's gonna hurt or help it might hurt it'll probably hurt you know what let's just go ahead and uh i'll just put in slaughter instead of euthanize but yeah this 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 poor guy he's been around for 10 years his life expectancy is 12 but he's already got double cataracts and no spine to speak of. Hammer. How's it going? You have no injuries. Get the hell out. Crow. You're almost completely healed too. We'll probably be kicking them both out. Memes is already getting rid of uh, Hammer. Out you go. And then once Crow is healed up, she'll be out as well. Torso is almost completely healed. Left leg's getting there. No infection to speak of. Well, it's getting healed up, I should say. Julio, how's it going? 18-year-old cave child. Pretty. Aesthetic. 
weak constitution, chemist brown thumb. Not very great traits, I'm not gonna lie. Beardy, you're starving. Alright, well, at least you're eating your bowl of stew here at the party. Good lord, man. Okay, the party's finally over. You can now proceed to act like normal freaking people. Alright, Dismas. There you go. Grab all the seal that you need. Perfect. Excellent. Hammer exited the map healthy. Okay, we'll complete Confederacy. He likes us just a little bit more. We have put nothing into this machine learning assembler. Why is it... Why does it already have the... The... Scaffolding down. I don't know what to call this. Don't understand. Now it has some steel in it. I'm gonna move some plasteel next. Look at the man go. Where is he getting it from? Of course he's getting it from right here, cause he's freaking lazy. Dude, 36 silky eggs are about to hatch. I don't know what to think about that. And someone did point out that it's probably about time to get rid of the guinea pigs. <laughs> and I'm starting to Starting to agree a little bit. Let's go ahead and call in an exotic goods trader from the Art Haddenham. And we'll probably sell them all the guinea pigs. They're fun. They're named. Their names are adorable. Their existence is adorable. But they don't provide anything to the colony other than a little bit of money when we sell them. So I think it's time for them to go. I'm sorry, those of you who are fans of Constantine... But he's getting out of this house. Gotta wait 11 days before we can call another Rimatomic ship. Not that we actually need it so much now. Gigi rocking us some components. Pepsi rocking us some prosthesis. We got plenty of bones over here in our bone zone. Senpai is fully healed after fighting everybody. But now we gotta worry about these skins. We took care of the bone zone, but now we don't have a place for the skin bin. Hmm. And someone keeps making pants over here. Not, not, not that I have a problem with pants, necessarily. We made 35 out of 70 card shark hats. Who wanted those card shark hats again? Oh, you did. You. Purple Basculo. We have eight days left. I mean, for 8,000 silver, it's not too bad. Granted, we have 7,000 silver in here already, but still, you know. Just rocket that over there. Remember, this is going to be our place for the Rheumatomics research, because it does need its own. The light receptor is done. Pepsi immediately bringing it over to craft a bionic. Life's good. Dismas, I assume you're still working over here. Panda cleaning some dirt. Why are you holding stuff to the machine assembler? I don't care about that. I don't... Dismas. Well, I guess you're hauling components, so you're going to haul it to both of them. And then we need four advanced components in this geothermal generator, which he will do. He will do very well and excellently, possibly. Now, I'm starting to think it's almost time to start making some weapons. We don't have the stuff for power armor. Oh, it takes hyperweave, that's why. We have Synthread, but we don't have much Hyperweave. We could make Hyperweave. Let's see. Cotton Fiber, which we grow. Raw Flax, which we don't. We do grow Devil Strand. We don't make Plasteel Thread. And that just costs Plasteel. So we totally could. So, like, if I said... Rock us up like a hundred plasteel threads. There's an eclipse here. Ah, boy, is it affecting both places? It is. Well, good thing we're getting a power plant going, huh? All right. Yeah, throw in the plasteel threads. We have 15 hyperweave cloths. We'll say try to keep us at 200 hyperweave. So we need to grow flax. What don't we need? Probably the apples and bananas. Now, we use the apples. We actually make use of the apples here to make us our apple cider. 
So I guess the bananas are the least useful. I'll go ahead and just take these down. All right. So... What do I grow? I could grow this. Tangled fibers. Does it actually give you fibers? What does it give you when it grows? I don't even know. Grow dandelions. Let's go. I don't need any of these. I'm just taking a look. You can always grow bamboo. You can use that for special things for some reason. Grow barley. Can be used to make ale, of course. And it's used for cooking. Not... Trying to think of the future as well, not just the now. There's the flax flower. Mm, not 100% sure yet. Let's just get the flax flower. Give us some raw flax. Tawny pelt. Card shark hat is infused. It's pretty great. All right. Sounds like Pepsi's over here almost done with this bionic eye. I'm actually kind of impressed with how quickly that's going on. It's pretty great. So we need to put it in the left eye. We don't have it yet, but we will soon. We have a couple of bionic legs, but we need to upgrade them, which means we need to energize those components. Dismas, I assume, is done over here. He is. We are at positive power during the eclipse, and life is good. Life is really good. Got some cherry trees growing down here. We're positive power over here in Century City as well. We actually don't need the sun anymore. Take that, nature. Well, I guess we need to grow our plants. But we don't need it for power. So that's, that's a big improvement still. All right, I am interested to see when these are gonna hatch. It's going to be a heck of a lot of chickies. All right, still working over here. Still pretty great. Most of the projects right now are ragamuffin city focused. So be cool with that. Working, how you doing? Cleaning some dirt. Thank you for your support. Dark Shadow. Smoking a joint. Thank you for your support. Divot. Hauling in buffalo wool. Excellent. Beautiful. Extracting marrow from bones. All right. So this is a this is a thing that we probably just can stop doing. Why do we want to stop doing it? Because honestly, it takes freaking forever. And it's just for a little bit of gelatin, and they have to walk across the universe to do it. There are other uses for bones that are just as good, if not better. Like making stuff out of them. In fact, I think making stuff out of them is... A far superior idea. Whatever we can make out of bone, we should. That takes a little bit of steel, which is not that great. Oh, we're already making katanas out of steel. Out of bone, excuse me. It's pretty much just bone and sculptures. Or katanas and sculptures. Suppose we could just put in some... Like... This is jade. We don't need to make more jade sculptures. Bone. Just not, maybe not a hundred of them. Rock us with ten. We'll go from there, but yeah. We don't really need to have that many sculptures, but it doesn't hurt. Decaf. Made some cheese. It's pretty great. Made it out of that hemp milk. Not that anyone's going to notice. we got some cargo pods over here. Oh boy, smoke leaves. Who would have thought? I've never had those before in my colony. Crazy is giving birth. That's how I feel inside. Just waiting for that construct... Their precision turret to get made there. Machine learning assembler. Half done. That was more circumstantial than anything. And I'm not complaining about it. I don't really need to complain about it. Got nothing to complain about, as you can see. 
No, I want to look at my needs. Literally nothing to complain about. So someone was euthanized. It's sad, but it's not like devastating. Worn out apparel? What else is new? Feeling bad? What else is new? Disturbed sleep? That's just a normal day in the life for me. And is a prisoner died? Eh, at, least, at least in theory. My pants are about to fall off? You know, that's just normal stuff. Legendary linen cloth, fine shirt. Good lord. Should probably change my pants soon, though. Hey! They absolutely love their stay. Monsi left us some herbal medicine. Heidi left us Labrador fur. Tarmogen eggs, 16 of them. Ambrosia. Dragon leather. Komodo dragon leather. Looks like there was some more herbal medicine. Everyone left us a few jerked meats. As is tradition, I guess. And left us some... Pretty nice stuff, really. Not complaining. Not complaining at all. Twere I to complain. I may be a jerk. So, I'm gonna try to not to complain too much. Anyway. We have our weapons and armor stockpiles over here now. It's pretty great. As you can see. I like it. Should probably have some kind of lighting in here. So... I guess we'll put in something. I guess we don't need something. We don't need anything super fancy. Let's put in some freaking ceiling lights. Like one here, one three away here as well. Is it two or three away? It's going right here, right? Yeah, two away. My bad. One here, and then maybe one at the door. There you go. Just a little bit of extra lighting for you. Make sure you know where you're going. I hear that's important. Bogue, what are you wearing the freaking prototype steam hall for? Dude, you can only handle 63 degrees. You gotta get freaking heat stroke. Drop it. Thank you. Where are these coming from? I mean, I, have, I imagine they must have come off of someone. But they're not good <laughs> from what I've seen. I'd rather make you power armor because, you know, power armor is amazing. Oi. I see prototype nerve enhancers, fancy enviro headgear. Yeah, I'm not sure where those came from. They're just not great, though. I'd like to make some shielded coats. That might be a good idea. Make a couple more of those. A muffalo is pregnant. That might be a good idea. Make a couple more of those, whatever that means. Let's see. Mending workbench is all good. Yeah, I don't know where... I doubt those are made by us. I mean, I, I'm 99.99% .99 sure they're not made by us. But I doubt that they are... Something we can make. Or if they are, they might be rheumatomics related. I don't know. We'll find out someday. Let's uh get this hauled. And then we'll re-forbid it. Yo, me. I know, I got like a big old hard on for getting that thing moved, but uh, for now, we'll put it in here. We'll grab it. And we'll forbid the hell out of it. Okay. Yeah, don't, just don't touch it, okay? Who, who needs rescue? Orca! Dude, you really gotta stop with the smoke leaf. I'm just saying. Panda, you're ready for a new eye. Got to replace your left eye. Left eye. When we get done, it'll be perfect. Could even be professional, but you don't. You never know. It's the kind of thing you don't learn right away. It takes some time. You got to get to know your friends and your enemies before you know whether or not that's going to work. I could move this over. It doesn't really hurt anything to move it over. Actually, if I move it down here, it can connect to even more things. Move it here, connect connect to all the things. Move it here. There you go. I guess I can move this as well. I don't know. Maybe it was, uh, No. Because it won't connect back to the machining table. That's fine. What I should do is just build another one down here. I mean, they're pretty damn cheap. Can put one, like... Eh. Eh. Why? Why is it so picky about whether... 
Ooh, this thing is weirdly picky about whether or not it will work with this bionics table. <laughs> That's weird. We just put it right here, though. It's fine. That'll connect to most of the stuff over there. And then over here, we can use one. Like there. And then over here, we could use one. So we got, we got some redundant connections over here. But we'll, we'll do this, and then we can move this guy. Like... I mean, I guess we shouldn't move this guy. I don't know. What are you going to be connected to again? You're going to be connected to all these, I think. So if this doesn't need to connect to those, it can move over here. Come on. Come on. Ah, jeez. I'm just going to leave that alone. Just going to leave that one alone. Yeah, don't, don't, don't touch it if it doesn't need to be touched. Found that's a good philosophy. Except when you want to touch it. And then it's just very, very hard to uphold. Anyway. That is going to be it for this episode of Pet Plays RimWorld Beta 18. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more. Dark Shadow Doc's going to go view some art. It's pretty great. Thank you again for watching this episode of Thet Plays RimWorld Beta 18. My name is Thet, and I'll see you in the next video.